Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and welcome to part 2 of how to make a Discord bot from scratch. Uh, last tutorial, we made a ping command. I know, I know, it was such a long time ago. Um, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I couldn't make videos for a while, but I'm back now, and I'm ready for another video. So, let's get started with another video. Okay, so today is more of a tutorial about how to create your own commands instead of me showing you how to make a command. Now, because most tutorials show you how to make commands, they don't show you how to like develop your own commands, develop your own code for commands. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that right now. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with the video. Just before we get started, I'm just going to put my tutorial bot online with node space dot and, it, it, and bot is not online. What happened here? An invalid token. Okay, give me a second. All right, there we go. A bot is online. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe the token reset for some reason, but it's fixed now. There's my token. I'm going to reset it after the video. Okay, uh, so how to make your own commands. So I'm going to show you how to make your own custom command, and I'm going to do that by showing you how to make a random number generator. So what we're going to do is go ahead, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a prefix, okay? So prefixes are those little symbols that come before commands that tell you tell the bot that, hey, I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm trying to write a command about this bot. So what prefix should we use? Now, a bunch of people use exclamation point. I'm just going to use exclamation point for this video as well. You can do uh, whatever symbol you want, exclamation point and question mark are the most commonly used. Okay, so var sets up a variable, and actually we should make this into const. Const versus var. Constant means you can't change the variable again. Um, const prefix equals string. Uh, whoops. String, uh, and our prefix is exclamation point. Okay. So first thing here, before we do this, what we're going to do is go ahead and type if message, this grabs the message, dot author, dot bot. This checks if the author of the message was a bot. If so, we don't want to do anything. So what we're going to do is if the message was a bot, message, you're just going to, uh, actually, you don't even have to do this. You can just go ahead and do return like that. Also, we're going to check if, um, we're going to check if, uh, message dot, okay, and then we need to get a, uh, a, uh, a list of the words and the letters in our, uh, message. So how we do that is we're going to go ahead and create a new constant variable, const message split, and this is going to equal message dot content. This grabs the content or the text of the message. Dot slice. Whoops, sorry. Dot slice. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do prefix. Dot length. This grabs the length of our prefix. In this case, since the our prefix is one letter, it's just going to say one. Dot split. And this is going to uh, separate our string with the character that we define and the character we define is it would be a backspace backslash and then a plus and then another backslash like that and make sure you get the spacing right on this this is very important okay and then finally what we're going to do is we're going to say const command this is the command that we want to run equals uh message split dot shift with two curly brackets, uh, just just two brackets, and then dot two lowercase. Two lowercase basically makes the text into lowercase. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and uh, check if our message starts with our prefix. So if not, and the, the symbol for not is an exclamation point, so that means if the message dot, uh, message dot, uh, content dot starts with prefix and if it and this this exclamation point right here says if the con if the message content doesn't start with the prefix return so that basically exits exits out of our command okay uh, we're gonna go ahead and change this message dot content into command 
and we're gonna yeah that's fine okay let's just test this right now uh just to be safe if it works um uh sorry exclamation point ping okay something went wrong aha okay so uh all we have to do is change this final bracket here we have to just move that over here uh there you go oops okay there you go node space dot run that again exclamation point ping there we go so it works exactly the same if i just type ping nothing will happen if i just type exclamation point nothing will happen if i just do ping exclamation point nothing will happen it's only if our command starts with an exclamation point Okay, that's how you get a prefix into your bot. Uh, next thing we're going to do is add this random command that we wanted. Okay, so first thing we are going to want to do is we're going to want to grab the arguments. Now, arguments are whatever comes after our command. So if we do ping uh, and then, there we go. Uh, if we do ping and then some, like, right, this is argument number one. So it's separated from the command by a space, and then it's our argument. So we want a list of these arguments. And then, again, we can just, like, that's, an, that's our second argument. So we want a list of these arguments. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and do that right now. How do we get the list of arguments? Well, it's not too difficult. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a message array. Now, that might say, sound very complicated, but it's not really complicated. It's just a list of our uh, words, okay? So, const message array equals message.content.split at the, uh, just the space key. So just hit the space key there. And then just do a semicolon at the end. Uh, so what we're going to do, what we can do here is we can go ahead and print out console, well, console, well, no, not that, <laughs> console.log our message array, like that. Uh, whoops, save that, uh, refresh our bot, and then we can go ahead and do ping, that should work as normal, as you can see. As you can see, it returned our command back to us. But also, now what? Now let's see what happens. Ping. Svel. Orioful. Right? If we enter that, that doesn't change anything about the command, but it returns every single uh, letter, right? Every single uh, word that we entered, which is cool. Okay, now we just need to split off the first word so that we don't, we don't want exclamation point ping at part as part of our arguments, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do const uh, arguments or args for short equals uh, message array dot slice one. Now that just cuts off the first letter. So if we just try that and change this console.log to a console.log uh, args, Right? No, oh, I keep doing that. Okay. And then if we just refresh our bot, as you can see, ping, blah, blah, blah right? Uh, it replies with pong, and there we go. So th we don't have our exclamation point ping anymore in our argument list. Great. Okay. Now we have a way to detect our arguments. Let's work on this uh, random number command. Okay. Um, so. Let's go ahead and create a new if condition. If, uh, I suppose we could have done a say command, which might have been a bit easier, but, you know, well, <laughs> we're going to do a random command. So if command, uh, random, then uh, we're just going to go ahead and return a random number from 1 to 100. So what we're going to do is, um, for now, we're just going to return a number from 1 to 100. So, um message dot reply right with um we're gonna reply with let's see we're gonna reply with um uh, math so math dot random math dot random uh so essentially that just picks a random number 
So if we just test that right now, right? Let's just go ahead and test that, right? So if we do exclamation point random, it did not work. Why did it not work? Aha, okay, math.random.toString. Because that is a number, so that doesn't count as a string, so we have to convert it into a string. So we just do that. I don't know if it's a command or not. Hang on one sec. I don't know if we have to add curly brackets. Give me a second. Exclamation random. Ah, there we go. So it gives us a random number between 0 and 1. That is not exactly what we want. So what we can do is we can, well, let's just try it again. Right? It gives us a random number between 0 and 1. Um, but that's not what we want. We want a random number between 1 and 100, right? So what we're going to do is inside, instead of math.random, we're going to multiply this by 100, right? Um, uh, and we can add that into brackets. There we go. So if we save that, run that again, right? And if we do exclamation random, as you can see, this gives us a number between uh, 1 and 100, or 0 and 100, right? Right? Yeah, so this is going to be a random number between 0 and 100. Okay, so now uh, let's try and uh, let's try and get this into a non-decimal form, I suppose. So that's pretty simple. All we're going to do is add a math.floor. That basically rounds our number down to the nearest whole number. So math.floor of math.random times 100 to string. So if we save that, go ahead and run that. Um, exclamation point random, right? 95. Perfect. Okay, random, right? So it just returns a random number every single time. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let the user pick the number that it goes up to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure that, first of all, our number is in range. Because, well, let's make sure that we only have one argument first. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and if uh, args dot, oh, args dot length is, is equal to zero, that means if the, uh, triple equals, by the way, if the length of the argument list is zero, meaning we haven't entered any arguments, then just return, uh, and then we can just do message dot reply. Uh, please enter an argument. Uh, okay, and then let's make sure our argument length is one or uh, only one, only one argument, right? So if args dot length is greater than one, then please enter one argument. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So if we just go ahead and test that, let's go ahead and just do an explanation random, right? This won't work anymore because it'll say, please enter an argument. Now, okay. What if I enter more than one argument? Random. Blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. Please enter only one argument. Okay. Perfect. Now, now we need to make sure that our random number, our random, our number that we input is actually a number and not text because if it's text, the, the bot will break. So it's not too difficult to find that. So, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that if, whoops, if args uh, one, this means the first item in our list, actually the first item in our list would be zero. So make sure we put args zero because computers start counting from zero, not one. Um, if args zero is not a number, so that's pretty simple. So we just do uh, uh, nan is nan, right? <laughs> is nan, this means if it is not a number, right? And we just put an exclamation point there to make sure that it's not, it's not a number, right? Make sure that it is a number, right? Is nan, there we go. If it's not is nan or uh, not is finite, right, of args, we don't want infinity or something, right, args zero, right, if that's true, then return message dot reply, that's not it, we're pl pl <laughs> uh, 
uh, please enter a valid number. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, now all we have to do is uh, we can just insert our args 0 into our 100 here, and that will work just fine. So let's just test this. Uh, let's go ahead and run node space dot, and let's go ahead and do random. Okay, nothing happens. Please enter an argument. Okay, random um, uh, r. That's not a valid number. Perfect. Random infinity. That is also not a valid number. Okay, random 10. That is also not a valid number. What happened? Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. I found that it, it, it has... No. Okay, get rid of the exclamation point. That was my mistake. Sorry about that. Okay, let's just test that one more time. Run no space dot. Random 10. Okay, perfect. Right? So it picks a random number between 0 and 10. Also, we can just go ahead and go random 1000, right? And there we go. It picked a random number between 1 and 1000. Okay. So, this was more of a proof of concept rather than an actual command that you might want to implement because if you know basic JavaScript, you will be able to code your own commands. Now, uh, the only things you might need to know is how to re react and reply, but message.reply is how you reply. Uh, message.channel.send is how you just send a message without replying. Um, uh, I'll just, right? And, uh, message, right? Uh, so this is the message that you want to send, right? Uh, and, or if you want to just reply, message dot reply, right? Uh, I will try and make more tutorials on this, but for now that should be enough because if you know, if you know basic JavaScript, you should be able to wrap your mind around this and it's not too difficult to code. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed part two. Stay tuned for part three. Make sure you don't miss part three by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. Thank you for watching. See you at howtodothethan.com and see you next time. Goodbye.